Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. So my phone ran out of memory and I'm having to start my video over and I'm just gonna make it a lot shorter of a video. And um, I was doing a walkthrough of the video of my garden and showing you what I've been doing. But I'm just gonna kinda just show you where I kinda have things placed. Um, I still need to do some cleaning up. As you can see, these are my kids' toys. And then I've got my um, planter stand right here for a couple of my plants. I like to keep tools and stuff mainly on these shelves. So I just need to straighten things up a little bit. But I've been out in the garden a whole lot today. And so I want to show you guys what I've done. I did have the greenhouse here, but I had a snake that was in it the other day. And I decided I didn't want the snake so close to the patio where we eat. And so we did chase the snake off. But, um... Yeah, I just, I moved the greenhouse again. So I'll show you where we moved that to. So I'm not gonna really talk about the plant since that made the video really long. And um, I'm just gonna walk around the garden and just show you where I have everything now and I'm going to be leaving them here. I, I will probably have to move the planters just a little bit to do, to do mowing and that sort of thing. But other than that, they're gonna be staying where they are. I really like the setup. I can sit on my patio and I can look at them and I can enjoy them. And it actually just kind of creates like a its own little space. So now you can, I'll just show you. So I put these slats up here. So they kind of create a little bit of privacy. So when we're eating out here every day for dinner in the evening, it's kind of, it creates a sense of privacy, not really any privacy, but a sense of privacy. So um, that's what I did. I thought that looked really cute. And then right here, I put all the rest of my pots right here. This, by putting the pots like this, it's actually helping me to be able to um, water my plants easier and quicker because they were spread out too far across the garden. And so this will make watering a lot easier, a lot quicker, and I will be wasting less water by having them arranged the way I do. So right here, I do have a couple pots that are empty. And then you guys can just kind of see where I have stuff. I still need to do some weed eating and I do need a mow. So these are my plants, my babies. I've got stuff growing everywhere this year. I even, I'm growing in the ground this year a little bit. I didn't do any growing the last two years, but I am doing some growing this year. I've got tomatoes and stuff planted in back behind over here. And then I've got my, um, apricot trees back there. I've done some pruning on them as well. My um, Lebanon cedar is getting huge. So I'll just kind of show you. As I walk you can see a little bit more. So I've got them all lined up right here. So everything looks really good. We've got a nice apple right here. Just one this year. All right. So that's what this side of the garden looks like. And then I've got some pots on this side as well. And these are all my gooseberries on this side. All right. And then all right over here next to the barbecue grill is my um, asparagus pot. I've got to clean up my mess. I was doing some planting and potting right here. Comfrey. I did a little bit of weed eating right here. This right here, this side is a little bit messy on my garden, but here's the heart apple tree. And I've got two little apples on either side and then the um, rosemary planted in there. Whenever I take a clipping, I stick it in there. So if it roots, it roots. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm still cleaning up this side of the garden, so pardon the mess. Um, stevia, it looks like the only things growing here is dandelions. And um, this is the olive herb. And this Alesso elderberry, it was the baby plant. I'm thinking I'm going to put it back in with the mama plant and um, just let it grow in that pot. Less pots of things to move. Um, this is my mess here from trying to grow stuff this year. I think they will work better in the early spring. The sun is drying everything out too much in the summertime. Then I've got things right here. These are some items I have for sale. These are some Russian olive trees. They look a little sad because I just separated them and I just put them in the pots, but like give it a day and they're gonna perk right up. 
They're a very resilient plant. These will be probably being sold next year. Strawberries, I'm letting them mature. Only a couple of them actually produced um, strawberries this year. We're trying to, I'm trying to figure out which ones are the pine berries and which ones are the red berries. So yes, that's the whole idea why I'm waiting because I want to have them sorted so that when I sell them, I'm not just selling random stuff. All right, right here is all the gooseberries that I'll be selling. These are all from cuttings primarily. And then right here are some that I actually have listed for sale right now. And then I come over here. The greenhouse originally was right here. And then um, earlier this year, I leveled this whole section out. Now things have sprouted. I moved some tomato plants today because they were getting crowded out too much in next to the corn. And it was really hard to harvest because of the broccoli's getting huge and the corn's huge. I did leave two of the um, tomato plants. I will have to water. My plants are shocked. I will have to water them really really good the next week until they come back out of being moved. Um, it's not good to move stuff like this when it's growing in the ground um, after a certain length of time, especially when it's got fruit set on it. It's not wise at all. Don't do these things. Um, but this is looking really awesome. My corn is huge. This one's like eight feet tall. Um, we actually have some silking and tasseling going on. Over here, we've got a couple small ears of corn down in here, and then this one, and then another one's popping out right there. So, really exciting. So, that's really cool. Then, the broccoli is getting huge. It's just the, the stalks and stuff are huge, but um, no actual broccoli. Probably because it's so hot. I have no clue. But it's purple broccoli, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping, crossing my fingers. Uh, here we've got some jasmine. I'm going to be looking into how and when you can collect seeds off of them. I don't know how that's done or, or what, so I'm going to be doing some research on that. Uh, my cucumbers are still growing well. I've already harvested about maybe six cucumbers off of it. The neighbor's dog, Cujo took a bite out of one and I just harvested that yesterday and then he did get one full pepper or, or not pepper but cucumber off of it and pulled it through the, the fence there I've got cilantro growing and my lettuce and I need to eat that lettuce because it's good here's one of the the romaine um, tomato plant it was just all bushed down on the ground and my dog could pee on it and it was just not it was just not doing um, the best it could be in that section and the root system was not very big on it either but there, it's loaded in tomatoes and so give it a day it'll be fine this one as well this one doesn't have very many um, tomatoes on it at all but it was so small compared to the other tomato plants so I just moved it that's one of its limbs it was laying on the ground So, and now we're over here to the corner. And then this is where I moved, this is where I moved the greenhouse, right here. And so I've got all of my stuff here. Looking good, looking good. Some more items I have for sale. Gal's coming to pick up these two items right here. Um, and then I've got stuff growing in here. It's doing good, doing good. All right, and I'll share more things. I'm rooting some more plants. I did some trimming and pruning on my um, gooseberries the other day. So, yeah, everything's looking great. Well, thanks for coming along with me on a walkthrough of my garden and that sort of thing. I have to mow the lawn. I have to weed eat. I'm trying to get these creeping um, buttercups um, take Taken, it's taken over. <laughs> I dumped some hot water on it the other day, but uh, clearly I need more because <laughs> um, I'm trying not to use pesticides or or chemical or the type of chemicals and things that actually um, harm the soil. And so I'm not going to use Roundup and that sort of thing because I don't want my plants to die. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. 
comment, like, and subscribe, and click that bell button. And as always, have a wonderful day, and God bless. Bye.